So, this... Welcome back to the series. This episode will be all about water. And the beach. Because... <laughs> because now that I have a beach, I want to build some sort of, like, beachfront, like, boardwalk or something. I think that's pretty simple. The boardwalk is usually like... It's like this. It's just this row of wood. And then there are going to be like shops and whatever on it. <clears throat> Which should hopefully help to sort of fill out the place. So I've gotten the sort of boardwalk base done, as well as I added some palm trees to the beach. And these are actually the same palm trees, or at least close to the same palm trees, from my... from Pathfinder, which is my Minecraft Classic mod. <coughs> I'm also gonna build, like, maybe a little sandcastle or something. I feel like the darker sands works well for a beach because like in the beach you have like the sand is getting all wet from the from the water like at like at high tide the, the water would be up here and it would make it make all the sand wet do right here is add maybe like a couple little like like maybe a pizza place a lot of my beach related stuff is going to be inspired by Steven Universe's beach city and that has a pizza place so why not make one here So, the pizza place is finished. You sort of come in here, you... This is where they sort of prepare the pizza. There's the big pizza oven back here made out of dirt. And the, the, the order counter. And then you sit down and have your pizza here. Or like maybe you can have it outside. Let's like put a picnic table or something. Sorry, I'm very... I'm coughing a lot for some reason, I don't know why. Also, this idea with the leaves was taken from Greffin's uh, Minecraft Through the Ages series. Where he's been doing this with the sort of classic leaves. To sort of give some more plant life to an area. <coughs> Thank you. 
Now it's time for the next building, which I want to be... I think I want it to be a library. And there's like a specific design for a library that I usually use. But, like, building a library is going to be kind of hard if we don't have books or bookshelves. So, it's probably not going to be very recognizable as a library. Now, of course, I am building this out of dirt as an alternative to having bricks. Because bricks aren't in this version. But one thing that does lead to is if I do windows, I need to make sure the bottom isn't dirt. Because dirt has a tendency to turn to grass with it when within range of a grass block. Which is something I don't like. Now, funnily enough, I'm pretty sure this build is actually going to use primarily the, um, 13A block palette. So one thing you can do is you can sort of put leaves uh, in place of the dirt to sort of hide the fact that there's no grass there by putting in something else green. In later versions you can do this with green wool, but, but right now we're doing it with leaves because they're the only other green block we have available and they work reasonably well for this. I'm going to do that with this other building over here. I'll probably do it with some other buildings later. Like, off-camera. I'll do it. I mean, it is relatively quick to do with each building, so I wouldn't worry about keeping them in the video too much, but it's... The bigger the building, the slower this is. And of course, all these leaves will uh, despawn once we re once we reach a version with leaf decay. But then, but at that point, we can just put grass here anyway. So. Now, I was really particularly worried about the buildings that are partially made of dirt, like the donut shop here and the library. <coughs> but 
Now the next building I want to make is going to be the, oh this pizza looks like a cookie. The next building I want to make is, will actually be my block museum. Which I might make into like a big underground thing, I don't know. Yeah, you know what, that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully it doesn't like run into my mine shaft or anything. Actually, you know what? No, I don't want to do that. I'm actually just going to build it straight up. Actually, actually, no. This... Where was it? This building back here can be my block museum. I'm going to start on the top floor because there are some... I'm actually going to start on the roof because there are... some tiles that require light to exist. So I'm going to start up here and... Did I put grass up here? I don't know. I might want to put grass up here. It will require spreading the grass all the way up though, so... But I mean, like, maybe I could do that. Grass does spread relatively, relatively quickly, quickly in this version, actually. I'm actually going to go up to the top of the building and staircase down from there. Actually, no, I, I can't staircase down. Does bridging work, though? Maybe not like that. No. Uh, this almost feels like doing the Mastery Monument in Kaizo. <laughs> if you're unaware of what the Mastery Monument in Kaizo is, it is a victory monument that requires you to spread a grass block for, from the end of the map back to the beginning.
I do want to put some kind of building here, but I don't really know what. There's like one space left on the boardwalk for a building. I mean, I could probably take inspiration from Steven Universe again and build an arcade, but I don't really know what an arcade looks like. I could build a bar, but I don't know what a bar looks like either. It'll probably look the same as all of the other generic restaurants I've been building, but with another Lego. There's also schools, which are really more of a larger undertaking. A police station? I mean, maybe a police station. <coughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with a police station. There aren't any blue blocks yet. So I'm gonna pretend that the police in this city use yellow as their accent color instead. Or no, green. Yellow. I'm probably going to get cancelled for this, but <coughs> I don't think cultural appropriation can exist in a fantasy setting. Rather, like, what I mean by that is a lot of people call, like to call out fantasy settings that take elements from real world cultures for being like cultural appropriation or whatever. Especially if the person in question hasn't researched the, the person making the setting hasn't researched the culture much. But like, do what you want when world building. The fantasy culture you're making is not the culture you're taking ideas from. And it shouldn't be treated like it is by these people who are saying cultural appropriation. Sometimes you just think an idea that you think an idea from a culture, even a wrong interpretation of the culture is cool and you can use it. Or maybe it like gives off a distinct vibe that you want to use in your world. Like Yeah, I don't really know what a police station looks like, but this is the general vibe I got from seeing them in fiction. I'm actually going to build a secret tunnel from the police station over to the donut shop, because I know that police officers love their donuts. <laughs> Bingo. So 
So the grass has made some progress. <coughs> and what I want to do is have like a another roadway going through here. Maybe it could be a sort of a smaller, like, suburban road, maybe? Uh, that's probably what I'll be going with, because usually the sort of suburban roads, at least in my neighborhood, don't have lane markings on them, and are a little narrower than... than more like city streets. And so, I don't know, I just sort of want to do something with that. Now I'm thinking about the neighborhood of make-believe. And perhaps maybe I could reference it in my world. If I do reference it, it'll be the Daniel Tiger version. And I'll probably wait until I have some blue blocks available since for some reason, the neighborhood of make-believe is very blue, both, like, the, like, the castle is, like, a bluish gray, I think, and the museum is blue. For some reason, this road is a lot faster to build than my other roads. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because it's narrower? Maybe it's just because of that, but I wouldn't really expect that to affect it that much. So there is a feature I haven't really referenced that much, and that is the ability to spawn Steves by pressing G, which as you can see spawns a Steve. And this arm swingy running animation would actually persist into it would actually persist into alpha since this is actually the same model as the player model once we get into the multiplayer versions Did I show off these beach chairs previously? I don't know what these are called. They're just these chairs that you always see at beaches, and I don't know.
And the reason I don't talk about the, that feature that much is because, well, it's not really useful for building. <laughs> and the Steve's just get annoying. But I also finished that road I was talking about as well. And I want to build something here, but I don't really know what. I'm probably going to build another house in... Well, we lost the ability to randomize our position. I was going to build another house in a random part of the world, but I guess that's not happening. So, one feature with this version is the sky and the clouds. So what's interesting about this is that well, what's interesting with this is that in the previous version of 0 0.0.14a, which is 0 0.0.14a underscore 03, The clouds, well, well, I think the clouds were the same, but the fog was more of the bluish color of the sky, and they didn't render correctly on darker objects. You can see here I'm pressing F to show the fog, and... What I did notice is that I didn't know what I noticed, but yeah, you can see me pressing F to change the fog, and and these clouds are just a scrolling texture across the top, which is basically the way clouds have always worked, like in InfDev or something. They made it 3D, but that's basically how clouds have always worked. Now, I do want to have some sort of indicator for each version we've been through, and since I didn't build anything for thirteen A, I guess I'll catch up on that now. So, 13A was where we started our world, and so I think a little house made of dirt will work nicely, since that's what everyone builds when it's their first time playing Minecraft. And then for 14A, I want to build a little tree. because this is the version that added trees. I don't know what I'm going to do for the for the next versions like if we do 15A, I don't know.
So, I do want to have something over here, but I'm really waiting for the gra waiting on the grass in order to free up enough space to do it. I basically want to do another one of these buildings, but smaller. So I want to do this one as a 10 by 10 building. Which means the interior will be ten by ten and the exterior will be twelve by twelve. <laughs> Though actually I might do eleven by eleven with a nine by nine interior. I decided to make it rectangular, which is going to be 11 by 12. And so let's get built. So I built the uh, second sort of skyscraper ish building. So there seem to be some issues with the corners. I don't know what that's about. But I built the second building, and the grass has already made quite a bit of progress. So I can just take this down. And the grass is almost up to where I want it to be. Did I tell you about the cop car? I think I told you about the cop car. I built a cop car outside the police station on sort of a driveway leading to the road here. And that's basically it. I am wondering if I want to build something else, but like I think I want to like put some more random bushes and saplings around here since there isn't space for another building. Maybe there's like space for a mailbox or something. Ah yes, mailbox. Or maybe that's more of a sign for for the store. versus just random saplings as well. Since in this version, saplings can be like really a stand-in for any small plant. We don't have access to flowers, even though I'm pretty sure they are in this version. I do wonder why we don't have access to flowers. Is it just because it ran out of space on the <coughs> hot bar or something? I don't know. But these are the blocks we have access to, it's what we'll work with. Okay. 
I do really like how this city is coming along. Sorry for being quiet for so long, I'm just thinking. Yeah, I think I should be done for now at least. I made a build, I made another build over here. I made, I did my main thing for today, which was the beach. Which I think I did pretty well on. Like, actually, I'm going to add a little island here. And it's going to be one of those, like, little classic cartoonish islands with the... With the with the, with the palm tree. going to require a bit more grass spreading, but it's not too much of a hassle to build, unlike the I want to build like the palm tree right here. It's going to be a little different to my normal palm trees, but whatever. So, there. That is the thing done. Next episode, we're staying in 14A08, but... Eight, because... I want to be in this version for a little while before I... start going into multiplayer versions of the game and there will be a special episode once we hit multiplayer Anyway, goodbye.